So I want to talk about an insight that changed my whole approach to performing music. And it, and it came about many years ago um, when I first went to university. So I, I had pretty much a traditional route through school and then into university. And in university, I, I studied physics and music. Um, the physics was to get a good job and the music was my passion. Now, when you go to university, you get exposed to a whole range of new ideas and new concepts and things that you probably have never experienced before, and that was definitely true for me as well. And one of those concepts that I got exposed to was the, the concept of musical gestures, and I'd never really thought of music in these terms before. You see, when, when I went to university, there was a, uh, we got exposed to new musical forms like um, avant-garde music, modern music, things like that. And, and one of the things they were trying to do it, with these new musical styles was to try and reinvent music, reinvent music performance. So they'd change the way that they'd play the instrument, they'd use the instrument in completely different ways. They wouldn't be thinking about music in terms of notes on a stave anymore. They'd be thinking much more holistically about music, playing the instrument, you know, using percussive techniques to, to play as well. And they'd be drawing from other, other art forms as well. So you'd have this crossover between music and theater as well. So bringing influences from theater into music and music over into theater as well. And, and, and what it does is it, it kind of gives you a much more holistic view about what music is and isn't. So the definition to me of a musical gesture is a much more holistic definition than just thinking about notes and phrases, though it does include notes and phrases as well. But it also includes the noises that you can make on the instrument, any kind of percussive techniques that you can bring to the instrument. It also includes effects and modifications to the instrument, so it could be actually sticking things physically in the strings and playing it, or, or modifying the instrument in, in some way. And, and obviously, if you've got an electric instrument, you can put effects in the, in the signal chain as well. All of these things are acceptable. And that, and that, to me, allowed me to think about my own guitar performances in a different way, especially when you're improvising. If instead of thinking about notes and licks, you start to think about musical gestures, then it opens up your playing to a whole range of techniques, a whole range of ideas that you can bring to your playing that perhaps you just wouldn't have introduced before. So these can be, like I say, these can be noises or effects, string scrapes, um, how you approach the strings, strumming the strings and trying to make a, an individual note sound out. Do you dampen the strings or do you d just allow them to ring out and sort of create a mush? How are you going to do that? Are you going to use fast vibrato or slow vibrato? What kinds of effects are you going to apply to your playing as well? How are you going to modify your playing to, to approach things in a completely new way? And it also includes things like theatrics as well, you know, uh, Jimi Hendrix is a, is a great example of someone who brings theatre into, the, into his performance. So it's not just about the notes he plays, it's how he plays them, and it's the theatre that he brings to his performance as well. So I like to bring all of these ideas back into my own playing as well, especially when I'm improvising, because I can go it, take the music in any direction that I want to take. And that means that I can start, if I think about the music in terms of musical gestures, rather than just thinking about the notes, the individual notes and phrases, then I can bring a whole new dimension to my playing that maybe I, I wouldn't have previously brought to my playing. So for example, it's like, it's like my, one of my favorite styles of painting is, is the, where you're using the paint almost as a sculpture. You know, you're putting the oil on really thick and you're putting textures onto the canvas. And I love that about guitar as well. I love to think about how I'm going to play the notes, not just the notes themselves. I love the percussive aspect of hitting the strings or sliding up to the note or putting fast vibrato on there. I'm always thinking about 
how am I going to modify the, the notes that I'm playing, the phrases that I'm playing, in order to put something new into my performance? And that's what I love about thinking about your playing in terms of musical gestures and not just about the notes and the licks and the riffs that you might want to play.